three-point loss here at home tonight. I was curious to hear from your team. You know, it was a tough loss. I think we had some opportunities down the stretch that we could have capitalized on. And Clinton State's a very good basketball team, but I think at the end, you know, it was on us, and we needed to make better decisions. What did you see on the when you guys got the ball back with like 18 seconds left, and I, I guess um, was it Sierra turned the ball off yeah. to Camille? Camille wasn't there. I mean, what was it just? Uh, uh, look before you pass the ball type thing? Yeah, or? I think it was, you know, it was kind of one of those things where it was kind of careless and we told them when the ball came and ensued in that possession, you know, we're going to attack the rim and we're going to go look to score as, as fast as possible so we can have a second chance opportunity and the best thing to do is get to the rim and, you know, if you don't get to the rim, maybe you'll get fouled and then from there we move on and, um, you know, we didn't get into attack mode, we went to pass mode and I think that kind of threw everything off a little bit and, you know, we had a turnover which hurt us. They repeatedly got an easy basket, um, you know, even off some made shots uh, on the other end of the floor. Was that something you guys were worried about coming in? Did that surprise you a little bit the way they did that, or is that their game? Yeah, Clayton State is a very up-tempo team. They like to score in transition, whether it's, you know, off the defensive turnovers or getting the ball out and running, and they do an excellent job of it. That's always been their thing to score quickly, and our girls need to get back, and they're just repeatedly, we spoke about it in timeouts, and it just didn't seem to happen as we quite wanted it to tonight. Yeah. Um, something good you can take away from this one, you think? I think we fought hard. I think we competed. Um, you know, missing Brianna Robinson was a, you know, she's our team floor leader. She's our point guard. Um, she's our glue towards the end of games. And I think we had other people step up today. I think Sierra Mills had a good game. Um, she scored, you know, 20 points. And, you know, Camille Dash is growing every day as a sophomore. She's getting big minutes. Um, so, you know, we can take from the fact that, you know, we competed hard. We were in the game at the end. But, you know, we're not satisfied with it. It was definitely a winnable game for us. Yeah. Um, anything on Brianna? Any update? Is she... She's making progress day by day. We hope to have her back by Saturday against State okay. So was it indeed a concussion? It was a concussion. Okay. She hit the floor hard, so she, okay. she, she was, yeah, she, she's been out for a couple of days. But um, I think she's making some progress for us. Do you, do you anticipate the day she'll be able to practice? Or? We're hoping towards the end of the week. I okay. think the progression is she's getting better today. And then tomorrow, I think she takes the concussion test, and then they progress her into practice as the week goes on. Um, just uh, real quick on Alexia, too. She, I thought she did some pretty nice things at times for you guys. As far as uh, helping with rebounding and that type of thing. Yeah, Lex has been a really consistent post player for us. Um, I've been extremely impressed with her. Um, you know, over the past couple of games, she's a consistent presence for us. Um, she always goes hard. She always rebounds the ball, and you know, she she does some really good off offensive things for us too, especially within the, the teams playing us as own. Thanks, guys.